she's not the most talented gymnast. I mean, it didn't, didn't, none of it really came natural to her. Her determination, I'm, every place she's gone, she's always got the hardest worker award. She has been knocked down a lot, and she just keeps going. Caroline and I always went to Ball State meets together. We dreamed, like even if we didn't go to the same college, like we knew we wanted to do college gymnastics. We said that if we were close, we would meet and do Zumba like monthly together <laughs> to make sure <laughs> we stayed in contact. Friday nights we'd want to stay at my house because we'd have the football games and the basketball games and the fun stuff of being at a bigger <laughs> school. Then I would stay at her house on Saturday nights so that we could go to church together the next morning. Eighth grade year, we had to write letters to self, and you could have people write you letters. So Caroline wrote me a letter. They would walk, would just say down the hallway, and they're holding hands. I mean, what kids do that? They just genuinely loved each other. And it was rare, and they had a very, very rare friendship. Jill called, which is Caroline's mom, calm as could be, and she said, um, I just want to let you know um, that she is at peace right now and that she is in heaven. It, it did not register what she had just said. My sophomore year of high school, my best friend Caroline and her boyfriend Brayden and her sister Annie and her boyfriend Ethan all got in a car accident. It, it, it was just surreal. It didn't feel real for a long time. In the end, Caroline, my best friend, Annie, and Brayden all ended up passing away. I got closer with my faith after the accident. That Easter, I got baptized with Caroline's little sister. For me, the only way that I got through it was looking towards faith and looking at why things are uncertain and why we don't know the plan. It's his plan and he knows why. And even if I still don't understand all the reasons, like he has a plan. Two months after the accident, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a letter from her. So I got to read that letter from her my senior year. On the outside, she signed her name with a heart. And so my tattoo is the heart. Anything that I would ever have wanted to hear from her, I heard. It was sad, but like, you know, one last little conversation. At first it was kind of hard. That's where our relationship was. We met through gymnastics. They had a meet, not even a month after the accident. She physically couldn't do anything. I mean, literally physically could not do anything they weren't taking scores for the floor routines. And they all learned Caroline's floor routine, performed it that day. She rocked it, she killed it, you know? After not being able to move, pretty much, she killed it. I knew after this accident that I wanted to do it also for Caroline. So although gymnastics was kind of hard at that time, I did it for her. She wanted Ball State Gymnastics so much, and I think that it was kind of hard there for those, you know, couple of years, and then her senior year, she really, you know, put the grid in and did what she needed to do. She wanted to focus on gymnastics because her, her end goal was college. I got the phone call from Joanna, and she was like, what did you do this kid? Like, she is just on fire, and I was just like, Oh my goodness, we did it. She's finally going to get her dream after everything that she's gone through. I immediately burst into tears because it's what she's worked so hard for. And she did it. She did it on her own.
before we take it off. Yeah. Use the energy just to have fun. Ball so hard. One, two, three. Ball so hard, you! When, it, when it's something that your child loves that much, it, it's, you, you're not, you don't feel like you're giving up, uh, you know, it's, uh, you watch them flourish, all the lessons they get out of it, time management to self-motivation, it, it's all just so worth it. When I got the offer from Joanna that um, fall, it was just, it was awesome. It was the best feeling I've ever felt because I like did it. I did what I've dreamed of since I was a little girl and I did it for my best friend too.